Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. One of my favorite things about reading the Word of God is the fact that no matter how many times you read the same passage over and over again, you can always discover something new, a new concept or a, an expanded perspective of what you have read in the past. I want to share a portion of scripture with you that I read this week that I had the exact experience. The Word of God says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Familiar portion of scripture, right? You've read it a million times. We understand the concept. But this time when I read it, I could imagine a whole different perspective. And you know, we don't add to or take away from scripture. But as I reflected on this, I was like, well, if this is true, then what if the opposite is also true? So I took a look at that to see what that would look like. And I wanna share that with you today. And it would say, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is false, whatever is unjust, whatever is wrong, whatever is perverse, whatever is ugly, whatever is morally unacceptable, if anything is mediocre or substandard or worthy of criticism, don't think about such things. Now, the world that we live in is broken. There is sin, there is sickness, there is death, there is all kinds of negativity around us every single day. But I believe that God wants us to be able to coexist in healthy ways in that environment. The world is not necessarily going to change for us just because we show up, but we have the opportunity to change our atmosphere wherever we go. And I think that it's so important for us as we do have to see these things on the news and as we do have to see these things in our relationships and happening around us, we have to know how to deal with it. It's not that we are not supposed to deal with things that are unjust, things that are wrong, things that are false. We can't just turn a blind eye and ignore it and it will go away if we act like it's not there. That's not reality. But what I believe that God is wanting us to do and calling us to do is that when these things arise, when we are faced with them, that we go back to him with these things, that we're not dwelling in them. That's what it says. Don't think about such things. Don't dwell on this. Don't allow your mindset to just marinate in this cesspool of negativity, but go back to God. The Bible tells us that thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me because he trusted in me. We have to keep our minds on the things of God so that our minds do not fall down into depression so that we are not swayed by the enemy's devices and his lies, but that we are constantly feeding our souls a steady diet of the truth of God's word. And when we come up against these challenging things and these negative uh, moments that we constantly and immediately look to God for his direction, for his strength, and for the truth of his word. I believe that that is what Philippians 4.8 is wanting to remind us, that we are to keep our minds on God at all times. That is how we manage the negative things that are going on around us. That is how we maintain a merry heart that does good like a medicine. That's how we survive. That's how we stay healthy and sane. And that's how we continue to minister to others and to help them through their challenges. So I wanna encourage you today that whatever is going on in your life, yes, there may be difficulties, major difficulties, but I believe that God is still keeping his people in perfect peace as they keep their minds stayed on him. So my word to you today is be encouraged not to dwell on those negative things, but focus on those things of God and allow them to feed your soul. There was a song that they used to sing, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative and don't mess with Mr. In-Between. So I wanna encourage you, whatsoever things are lovely, true, pure, of good report, if there be any virtue, any praise, think on these things. Keep your mind on God and he will 
keep you in perfect peace. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.